though. We want to beat up on the rockets. <laughs> That's the plan here. Sorry if you hear my cat yelling. She is uh, desperate for attention. We'll put some uh, anti flea medicine on her and give her the pets. I really want the pets. She cannot have the pets. Much as I would like to give her all the pets. Anyways, we're just going to send our two tanky boys up here. Everybody else hang out. Now, again, these rocket trainers can just walk through us, so we kind of just have to take up a decent position with that in mind, um, and hope that they don't wind up just deciding to go directly on the other side of our front line. Usually they don't, um, but I, I don't actually know the exact rules on the trainers and where their mons go. It's also maybe a little left. Well, yeah, using Zubat to chip things is good, because we're not going to want to use Zubat long-term. Oh, sorry, um, Psyduck long-term. But that Leer isn't enough to take that KO. This, what about... Well, that was enough. Yeah. These two are the ones, uh, Geodude and Nidoron. You really want to be focusing on. Do four damage there. Two is probably too much. Not way too much. If I guess. That likely increases the damage. Oh well, no, Leer is a special attack. We'll increase our other damage. What makes these flash? <laughs> Maybe it flashes for not very effective and for super effective. Could be it. Uh, regardless, <clears throat> we're doing fine here. So it's 11 damage. And I think we can maybe throw in not very effective. Okay. Oh, that's right, because. It uh, doesn't the ground. Hmm. Well, that'll work. We can sand attack it. That has been brought low enough. Now that we can just stare at it angrily and it will pass out. Right. Kill speed. Interesting level. Got a Karate Chop TM there, that's pretty nice. Or something could put that to you. There is another Rocket Trainer and there's a Zubat here, so we don't want to push it with extra Mons. I don't know how many Mons this is going to have. I'm really not sure what has changed exactly between the difficulties. I played through this segment and a couple of the segments after on the dip, the medium difficulty. Two out of three. So, uh, this is my first lunatic attempt, and fairly soon we'll get into some content that I haven't played at all, uh, which will be pretty fun. We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon gangsters. We strike fear with our strength. Rattata and a Zubat. Well, if we step up to this, the thing is, it will aggro this Zubat. Kind of problematic, but I guess also at the same time not very. Zubat isn't terribly threatening. Let's worry more about trying to get... So Rock Tomb is kind of a lot of damage from Geodude on that Zubat. I think we might be able to do something like a Tail Whip combo here. Mm. 
and drop the rock. Yep. I'll knock the Zubat out. You do get less XP that way for your knockout, but most of our mons aren't getting very much XP from it anyway. That is 8 damage. Okay. Okay, we hit it with a Leer. Now. 10 damage. 16 damage. Hey, there we go. Very nice. I blew it. Yes, I did. Thanks for the money. Guard. And I guess bring... Um, Knock this out with Thundershock. And be on our way. I guess while we're here, let's take this. And move on up to the next train. That boss again. Got another rocket down here. All everyone, and I'll leave Charmander standing, I guess just right over here. Something like this ought to work. <laughs> they may have passed, but they can't stand on the same tile as us. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. We have Sand Shrew Attack. Our level 10. It's our double kick weapon against it. Or so I think once again we need to hit a Leer. Probably gonna help. Don't think it's gonna be enough. Yeah, that brings us only to 12. Let's try some stuff. We can also... Hmm. Yeah, we can growl. Another little bit of damage, but that's still 15. I'm gonna come over here. Huh? Sure. Pick up that KO here. Oh, no retaliation. Alright, Nidoran. Our Nidoran is to get so much uh, special. Magic, rather. Okay. That up. Um. And we can do a bubble. Kind of interesting. Drop bubble for water gun now. No reason to hold on to bubble. The rocket down. fine, I think. We really need to get rid of... We really need to get rid of that sand troop. I'm not really sure where this person is gonna move. Probably backwards, which is okay. We just need to make sure to get on sand troop and get it out of the way. That's actually a pretty hard mon for us to with. That's, in fact, Sandshrew is pretty much the main reason why I have, uh, 
Psyduck right now. Uh, I can't be messing around with grown-ups. Could be bad news. Hey, okay, well. Too bad it does drop right on top of us. I think this is actually for the best. Because now we don't have to run into the range of the other mons. Bye. Bad. Finally got a ground attack. Does Confusion one shot? It's not. not convenient. We pick up a KO for our. Hmm. So apparently Peck isn't good enough. Right. Well, maybe not. <laughs> we can do an AOE sand attack and then pick up a KO for our Nidoran. <laughs> And then doesn't actually KO. You could shoot it. I'm steamed. Fortunately, Sandshrew is quite bulky. But yeah, we do want to step up the rock throw here. Great. Bit unnecessary, but okay. Okay, three. Um. So. Dude is not ready to move yet. Back up. do here is actually try to call into this while avoiding this trainer. I want to do something like that way I can have one guy come back here. Yep. Just barely enough to knock that out and prevent another enemy from spawning. And that will save us quite a bit of headache here. Then let's just chip this down a bit. No confusion, that's great. Worried about that. Seven damage. Oh right, we have double kick. Perfect. Okay, and then at, the reason I wanted to do that is so that we can fight this trainer and then use the heal pack. Didn't want to have to use the heal pet to fight the Clefairy and another Mon. And likewise, let's go ahead and use a couple of berries. Just munch on some berries here with Sandshrew. Sandshrew back to full. And jump up here to this choke point. And we're going to use Tharman. And you do to hold it. Hopefully, I don't actually know what the position our guy will take. So we'll see if he summons anyone in between our. Hey, stop! I found these fossils. I told them, but they didn't listen. The fairy Zubat, just right in front of us. Okay. Well, that's not so bad. Knock this out. And then set up another KO for Nero. Perfect. It is kind of spooky. So I want to get into melee range for this. Yeah. I can growl it at melee range and then it can't counterattack. And then I can use AoE Thunder Wave. Now it can't dodge. Throw a water gun. 
do a little bit of damage. You're at it. To weaken its defense. Probably should have done that first. I think this should be enough to set up a KO with double kill. Oh, it's not. Oh, no. Well, that's not good. But we got a sign here. I think it's okay. Teleport that. Oh! <clears throat> yeah, no paralysis turn that time. Yeah, I mean, I could see this portion being Nuzlocke-able if, um... You weren't trying to focus on experience distribution so much. No, now I don't have any fossil. Sorry, bud. That's like a skill issue. Okay, drop the helmet. Cool. Oh, actually, that reminds me. This didn't work last time. Yeah. I think that that is actually getting fixed. If I remember correctly, it uh, doesn't work with any mom. You know. Someone had suggested it might just be the same. It seems to not be the case. Well, <clears throat> hmm. I guess I am walking. Let's uh, call over here for this view. Um, I, it does work the other way, but we should be fine on the return journey. Walk a little bit here. From here, yeah, we can teleport. Then enter. Um, again, teleport and enter. Oops. Go. Bit of a journey back to the Poka Center, but definitely want to make sure we have all of our members up for this last fight here. Otherwise, I am not too confident it will go very well. And we're right back where we were. Works great. Uh. Five. Two, six. Oh, right. Pikachu. <laughs> uh oh. Pikachu's gotta take the sign. <laughs> Prepare for trouble, he says. Hey, stop. I found this one. Oh, right. Here you listen. I don't want to read. <clears throat> and make it double. Well. To a taking the sign. Here, 
Uh, we probably actually want to let him sit there. This. What is this? Sand attack or small huh? Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> let's put a leer here. That's good. Yeah, exchanging defense drops. Now they're all kind of coming in single file. And this is very good. That means I can have, say, Pikachu come in here with an AoE Thundershot. It's a magic happen. Luck resistance. Oh, okay. Um, I seem to recall this being pretty tanky. Yeah, quite tanky and We can get it. Oh. Looks like we're... Okay, we do have mud shot there, so we could probably pick up a KO on here. Um, although, might be better. Probably the same level. Oh, we can't pick up the KO with Charmander. Well... Oh no. Uh, oh right. Uh, well, I guess we're doing doing that. Blasting off again. So an AOE attack coming in clutch there at the end. And uh, let's see. Here is a Zubat. I guess we knock it out. Move on to the next area. Four. Okay, so if we come back here with a flying one. Um, but this area is pretty interesting. I think we can go up here, get this Pokeball. But, uh, we do not have a flying Pokemon right now. We can only get this. It's kind of neat. I don't really know how I feel about that skill, to be honest. I did it. So when our HP isn't at max, we get hit and avoid. This is pretty good. I don't know who to put it on. I have to think about that one. Um, let's heal up. This is quite a fight coming. I'll call this one be pretty tough. I came to Mount Moon in search of new rock Pokemon. Who <clears throat> Geodude, a Sandshrew, and an Aqua. So this is the same. Hmm. He's really leveraging that corner there. That I was not considering. I think what we should do is try to go backwards. Hmm. We try to leverage our own corner. 
Oh. Oh. We even make that. It's better to just do something like that. Oh, wow. Okay. Um. Hmm. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. We equip a rocky helmet. And Leer. And then we leave our sand shrew at the edge of the range here. Then we move everybody else out of the way. We'll have just our sand shrew down here. Rocky Helmet. I think taking a couple of growls and retaliating with Lee. Okay. Okay. That should be a good good way to start the fight off. Actually, we do do that here. Wow, those growls hurt. That is a painful growl. But we did get the leers done. Some interesting stats on this sand true. Rising amount of magic. I guess we drop poison swing. So those single target leers that Sandshrew just gave were huge uh, in terms of their impact. Minus six defense, minus four resistance here. Big deal. But that might enable something. We have AoE. Water gun can be AoE. What is this? Pretty well, actually. Uh, hmm. I wonder if we took some defense off of those two. That might help. Right. We'll do something like another leer here. And and there. Yes. yes. Oh. Oh no, I misclicked. Oh, pain. Oh, my refresh rate is too high on my keyboard. That is not good. Um, slight case of the not goods right now. Minor, minor amount of the very bad. Uh, I think maybe I need to take out the eye. Pretty- oh, wow. It's a built onyx. That thing is stacked. Isn't onyx supposed to be terrible? Well, we ha- we do have the numbers advantage at this point. I mean, it can only do so much. But yeah, that that much can actually be kind of a lot. Let's growl this. Because otherwise, Sanfru hurts pretty bad. That's fine. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, hmm. That's not good. Really mispositioned. I can... It should be okay. A good level here. Oh, a dragon rage. Interesting. Mm -hmm. 
I don't really know how much guard is doing for us anymore. Up guard. We have a uh, defensive mode. And we'll just double kick on this. Take a big retaliation, which doesn't really matter. Because we have. We won the fight. All I found was rocks. Take them. There's money there. Like money. Mm -hmm. I wonder which tree is barren. Oh, hello. There's a moonstone behind the bush. What? Oh, is that what this is? Interesting. I never realized that was a moon. Yeah, guard is, uh... Okay. Ah, it was the left tree. I see, so left tree is preferred to right tree. Oh, no. Some wild encounters here. These should be able to freeze Spiro yet. He didn't. Ah, uh, that's okay. There will be more Spiro. Uh, we probably should catch a bell sprout. Let's capture a bell sprout. Your bell's pretty cool. You might wind up needing that. Up before left, right before down. Ah, makes sense. Lowest coordinator. Bind, not backwards. That's interesting. Try that again. Guts. Bind pushes the user back. Hmm. There's nothing about that in the, the move description. I wonder why that happens. Is it just because I was attack attacking bushes, perhaps? Coordinates start in the top left. Let's see. That makes sense. Oh, we don't have a flyer. Now, oh, you know, we probably should have caught a flyer to, cat to go grab this Pokeball right here. We'll go grab one. Let's grab that Pokeball. I'm curious what it is. Did not write knockbacks in descriptions. No reasoning. Gotcha. 